Hey everyone, Dan from On One here, and I'm back with another sneak peek at a brand new technology that we're working on for the future. This one is around time lapse. It's how to create a sequence of photos, stitch it into a seamless time lapse video. Here I've got a pretty big sequence. This is 690 total shots, and it actually transitions from the daytime through twilight all the way into the night sky where I can actually see stars in the photo. This is pretty difficult for a time-lapse utility to usually create. So it's called a holy grail sequence. What happens when you do this is the exposure has to change throughout the scene, creating obvious shift points. Time-lapse can detect those and filter them out. I'm just gonna select this entire group of photos. I'll click on the time-lapse button. This brings up the time-lapse dialog. On the left is a preview and on the right are the options. If I grab the slider at the bottom, I can preview what my time lapse is going to look like. I can slide it back and forth and I can watch my time lapse. Now, if you notice, the first beginning of it, about the first third, is pretty boring. There's not a whole lot going on in the scene. And as I get towards the end, as it moves from twilight into night, you can actually see a little flicker right there. That's where the camera had to adjust its exposure to compensate. And if we created the video normally, we'd have that little flicker in there. So we want to make sure to get rid of that. So rather than using all of these frames, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna deselect about the first 100 or so of these frames that I don't really want. There we go. So we're gonna start down a little ways and then I'll grab the rest of these frames. And now we'll go back into time-lapse and we can look at it and we can see, oh, it now progresses a little bit better. Now let's adjust our options. I wanna make a regular HD or a full HD video. I don't need a letterbox that I actually want it to crop a little bit to fill those aspect ratio. I can choose the codec. I'll use H.264, high quality and 30 frames per second. This is going to create a video that is 20 seconds long. Now that's a little too long for me. I only want this to be about a 10 second clip. So using the speed slider, I can make it slower or faster. So if I just bring it down to half, you notice it's going to use every other frame. And now it's only going to be a 10 second video instead of a 20 second video. And then I'm just going to make sure that reduce flicker is on. That's the function that's going to detect that little shift spot and smooth it out. When everything's set, I just hit create video. And there's our finished video right next to the first frame in our selection. Let's take a look at it. You can see our playtime is 10 seconds. We got rid of that boring few frames at the beginning. And you notice how it transitions seamlessly from day through twilight all the way into night. There you go. That's a sneak peek at the new time lapse feature coming soon. Thanks for watching.